So you're trading Bitcoin, drop 10% in a day, and you're feeling kind of, I don't know, a mix of anxiousness, panic, fear, if you want to call it that. What's your next step? Because I mean, you, you're, you're human after all. You're not a robot. You feel these emotions. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think you're trying to say to people, don't feel emotions. I think you're just saying, don't act on them, right? So what's yeah. your next step? You're, you're, you're panicking right now. You're feeling a little bit of angst. What do you do? Yeah, so, so I think what you do is you step back and you say, okay, well, listen. You physically step back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, physically and emotionally. Okay, I right. mean, if you need to do it physically, <laughs> then more power to you if that's where, what gets you there. But you have to be able to start to look at yourself and have that introspective look at yourself and say, right. okay, yes, I'm feeling fear or I'm feeling greed, but now let me step back and say, okay, what is the chart telling me? What are these these factors that I'm seeing in the chart telling me? And that'll ground you. It really does bring you back to earth. In fact, I had someone recently that said, you know, when, when Bitcoin was trading below 19,000, they were getting close to exiting and just throwing in the towel. They remembered what I had said and what I had taught them. And they said, you know what, I stepped back. And then all of a sudden, before I knew it, Bitcoin had rallied back up. And thank yeah. goodness I didn't react to my emotion. Right. So it's it's that ability to look at yourself and to start thinking more robotically. And by the way, emotion's great in life, right? In love and in empathy, sympathy. I mean, those are all great times to have emotion. Mm -hmm. Just in trading, it will inevitably work against you. And I'm telling you, there are bots, there are algorithms that the, the, the institutions have that know max pain levels on both sides of the market. And they will push the market to that level, knowing that if we can get Bitcoin above this level, we'll get a bunch of people to either jump long or if it's down to the downside, we'll get them to exit the trade and then we'll just whip it back the other way. This is it's used against investors. They have to get control of their emotion. What is short time trade in a Garrett dictionary? The minutes, hours or days? So, so my, my quickest trades are probably seconds to minutes. Uh, those would be day trades. Those are quick scalps where you're playing counter trends. So a stock might fall into gap fill. Um, I jump into it and we're out for 20, 30 cents uh, very, very quickly. And that can happen literally in seconds, you know. Generally, my midterm holds or, or let's, let's take it one more step. So that's day trading. In swing trading, a short term hold or a near term hold would be days to weeks. Midterm would be weeks to months and long term would be months to years. By the way, what that tells you is that I'm not a big believer in long term investing. I just am not. I, I've seen too many bubbles. I saw 2007, 2008, 2009. I saw 99, 2000, where long-term investors basically lost 60, 70, 80% of their portfolios. And then the emotion of it caused them to usually get out of the market at the wrong time. So I've made much, much more money by playing shorter term moves in markets where a stock will pop 10% or 20%. I take my profits. It corrects 10, 15%. I rebuy in if I still like the thesis and I can just do a rinse and repeat many, many times over. In fact, recently we've done that with Carvana, which by the way, I'm not a huge fan of the company. I, I don't necessarily know if they'll survive long term, but the stock literally has these 50% bounces off of these $20 levels. Stock's down from like 300 and something. And so we're just swinging it. We make 20, 30%. We do it again and again and again. But you can just generate so much alpha that way. When will the markets bottom? What price will QQQ hit? So I, I think the NASDAQ, the, the this year outlook has us going down to the pre-COVID highs. I don't remember exactly what price point that is, yeah. um, but I think that's your target for this year. Um, doesn't mean we're not going to have bounces. I think right now the US dollar is at a point where it is going to come in. It's into such major resistance. I've done a lot of buying of commodity related plays like Freeport McMoran, uh, GLD, SLV, GDX, um, because I do expect the dollar to pull back and even Bitcoin that should help Bitcoin since Bitcoin can be traded in US dollars. So I think for the most part, you look for those type of moves in the near term and, and get get some money in the bank. Question is how low does Bitcoin BTC need to go to clean out all the crappy altcoins. That's a that's a great question. And the reason it's such a big question is because we are facing these unprecedented times, right? It's the first time in Bitcoin's history where we have this aggressive Fed moving with these huge rate hikes and we have inflation at, you know, eight, nine, 10, 11 percent. And so you could go back in previous bear market cycles in Bitcoin and you never had these issues. If anything, this is going to be the worst down cycle we have ever experienced in Bitcoin. I do think it bottoms out probably between 12 and 18 months from November. So November through early 2023. But I do want to be clear is that if you compare this to the dot coms, you have to think that 
it could take a while for us to get back to 68, 69,000 in Bitcoin. It took quite a long time for the NASDAQ to get back to the pre.com era highs. I also think that to wipe out the nonsense, you may even have to go below my low end target of around 12,000 on Bitcoin. I hate to say this and I don't mean to scare anyone. And by the way, in all fair and fair disclosure, I own Bitcoin that I'm going to be holding from around 19,000, right? A small position. I started to inch in because I don't know where the low is going to be, but I'm preparing for the worst case scenario of 3,500.